Okay, folks, we're working on the under $100 water filter that includes uh, fluoride and chlorine, which are two of the main things we want to get out. <clears throat> this is the filter I ordered from Cheaper Than Dirt. It's a large ceramic filter, very efficient, meets most of the worldwide standards that we're looking for. It has a half inch threaded uh, tap on the bottom. <clears throat> now, this we will insert into the top 6.5 gallon food grade bucket. I have two of these. The bottom one has what they call the Italian spigot on the bottom. These are cheap, just a couple of dollars. The buckets are about 15 a piece. You can get them at your local beer or brewery shop. That's where I got these from. Thanks to Hogtown Ale Works here in Gainesville. <clears throat> here we have a Berkey fluoride filter directional flow. This I'm going to have to uh, ream out and retap as you can see. Wabby Cat is very interested. Nothing happens in this house and he's not extremely aware of. Uh, so this is our filter. They run about, um, I'm trying to think, I got a pair of them, about 30, 40 bucks a piece. Well worth it though. I've got a Berkey shower filter installed right now and man, I'm telling you my water feels great in the shower. It's a major noticeable improvement right off the start. Here we have, uh, I've got already on the drill, <coughs> half inch a drill bit. You'll need to drill holes in the bucket lid. Uh, I've got a 29 uh, 60 fourths drill. This is a pre-drill for the tap. This widens it out just undersize for the half inch tap that then I'll then go back with this tap and ream through it and put threads so that hopefully if this works properly as I suspect this will screw uh, right into the fluoride filter and I'll make the connection right through the top the bottom of the top bucket and the top lid of the bottom bucket. So uh, as I'm by myself um, I'm gonna have to shut the camera off here to do some of this stuff but I'll check back in as you can see, I've already drilled my half inch hole. This would be the lid for the bottom bucket. The top bucket sits on top of this and hopefully my piece here will fit through, thusly coming from the underside of the top bucket naturally. And, and you'll see as we get this put together. So we'll check right back in in a second. Continuing right along, this is the hole, half inch hole in the top bucket. And this will, as you can see, this is the top lid on the bottom bucket, and I'm going to have to push this down to make it tight because it's not the longest uh, tap to hook into. So, uh, check back in just a second. Not even a second, and we're back. Magic of the internet and YouTube. Okay, so I've drilled my guide hole here. This is the 29 60 fourths, and then I come back with my thread. This is a half inch tap. Uh, I should say tap is more accurately. This is my half inch tap. And I'll come back with that and thread my holes in here and hopefully these two are going to fit together and we'll be well on our way to having clean water. Back in a minute. Okay, right here I'm showing you there's my tap inside as I'm uh, boring it out and I just want to make a quick point. You back it out at every so often to clear the debris out so it doesn't get caught up in the tap. So bore in a little ways, back it back out, clear the debris the plastic debris out and then continue and you'll thread it all the way through. Okay folks, here I've bored it out, tapped it out, and uh, it fits perfectly. As you can see, we screwed together. Uh, I have only to assemble the parts and make sure I have the gaskets on there so no water leaks through. But it will filter through the large ceramic filter, down through the fluoride filter, and out the bottom of the tap, and then my cat right there can have some nice fresh water and stop poisoning him. So I'll be back in a minute as I assemble this stuff and we'll continue along. Okay, I've had to make an adjustment because I can see that the shape of the uh, 6.5 gallon uh, food grade bucket top is, it's a, uh, was a concave um, that dips down. It's not going to make it. So I've, I've done my hole here. I've screwed the fluoride filter to the uh, regular ceramic filter and we're just going to have to cut a larger hole in the uh, top to the 
bottom bucket with a spigot on it. So I'm going to cut that hole out and this should fit right on top and that fluoride filter just hang right through and drip right into the reservoir bucket. So I'll get a uh, some kind of uh, straight edge blade and cut that and we'll be back in a moment. Oh, well, Labby Cat wanted me to make sure we covered all of this and as you can see right here here is the my secondary fluoride filter. I'm not; these aren't going to both go in line. Although you could put them in line if you wanted to. And this is gravity uh, fed. Gravity pulls the water through. No electronics uh, needed whatsoever. Uh, we're going to cut this hole probably just within this indention here. Looks like a pretty righteous size. This should drop right down inside of that and dispense into our reservoir with the Italian spigot at the very bottom. So just showing you how you pretty much eyeball, size it up, take a nice sharp knife or blade, be careful not to cut yourself, wear gloves, whatever you need, and cut you out a nice round hole. doesn't have to be perfect, just got to be enough that this will fit through it, and the bucket will still rest on the outside of the rim. Okay, so we'll be back again, over and out. Okay, we've got our hole cut, it's not the most perfect round one, I got a little bit off track on the back side, but whatever happens in life, sometimes we get a little bit off track, and as long as you write your course and get back where you need to be everything is fine to have once been a criminal and that there is no shame in remaining a criminal and that there is shame that's what Malcolm X said so we get a little bit off track we get back on track no big deal okay here's our hole obviously fits right into the uh, bottom reservoir we're going to put the pieces together now and uh, we're going to filter some water here in just a minute I just want to show that I filled it above the ceramic filter because we want to flush through one time and make sure everything's cleaned out, cleared out, and what have you. It's going to take a while because it's a slow gravity feed, so we'll check back and see what's going on. But you want to cover the top of the filter and flush one round through before anything. By the way, I ended up using a more pointy, where's that? Here it is, pointy kitchen knife to cut that top with. So here we go, final right in through the top, fill it up, we'll drain it through, and you can hear that folks. That's a drip of fresh, pure water, no fluoride, but it's worked its way through, and 26.5 gallons, I'll move this out in the garage. Come back in a minute when I got uh, something I can taste test and see what it's like. Oh, by the way, while I'm here, you can use baking soda for your teeth, but here's Tom's anti plaque and whitening fluoride free toothpaste. And, uh, or just there's aluminum oxide in the toothpaste too, so you got fluoride and aluminum in the toothpaste, which we know in a recent publication from some scientific group, I can't remember, Federation of Scientists, whoever it was, they said it was aluminum combined with fluoride was it was 10 times as damaging uh, as far as your IQ. So uh, toothpaste is a bad, bad thing. You're looking for something without fluoride and even if you got to use baking soda. I mean, do you want 10 to 30 points of IQ back or not? You know, as are you willing to pay 100 bucks to do it? That's the question. We'll be back in a minute with a taste test. Okay, so what we learned is uh, we filter about a gallon in 15 to 20 minutes. The PF2 Berkeley filter uh, actually uh, inhibits the flow 15 to 20 percent. So look for that to, to slow what's already a fairly slow process down, but whatever it takes to get good non fluoridated water. Uh, what I want to show you real quickly, and, and I'm just looking at this on Amazon to show you, I try to avoid purchasing from Amazon because it's a sweatshop uh, mentality there. Uh, this is your 6.5 bottling bucket with the Italian spigot, which they're not the best. There are other versions of spigots that may cost a little more. Mine's already got a slow drip coming off the bottom of it, so I'm going to have to probably find a better type of spigot other than the Italian uh, spigot. Uh, let's look at filters. The one I ordered was from a uh, place called Cheaper Than Dirt out of Texas. They do survival gear and ammunition and what have you. But this is the ceramic style, candle style, uh, 10 inch filter. And I've been looking at the statistics here comparing it to the Berkey. It actually filters more 
chlorine than the Berkey does. They're about even overall when you really look at them, but the difference is obviously in price on the uh, generic version here from Cheaper Than Dirt. Uh, when we look at the Berkey ceramic styles from Berkey, you're looking at $47.95 a piece for a 9-inch uh, ceramic style filter, which does pretty good removing cryptosporidia and uh, heavy metals and, and, and what have you. Chlorine too, 90%, but when I look back at the cheaper than dirt generic brand, it's 95%, so it's a little better on the chlorine. If you get the black Berkey, it's much more expensive. We're going to 50 bucks a piece. Well, a little bit more expensive than the other one. And it, it does filter more particles, but it's it's not that much. I mean, I don't, for the price wise, I, I am justified, I think, in going with the cheaper than dirt cheaperthandirt.com uh, is the website. Uh, 2197 for the ceramic style. I'll post up the part numbers and everything and give you a list of parts so you can put this together. Here's the Berkey PF2 fluoride and arsenic filter. Uh, what I learned last night is you want to take this thing and put it up to the sink and flush it through for 20 seconds and then uh, install it and you, you uh, also prime it with water at the same time so it uh, flows better. Uh, in any case, it, it works fine. The water tastes great and uh, it's fluoride free. What can I say? So this has been a very successful uh, project and, uh, and I'll put a price list, but it looks like under a hundred bucks you can have your water filtration system. It's good for a thousand gallons on the PF2 fluoride uh, arsenic filters and on the ceramic filters, uh, those are cleanable uh, as well and you can brush them with a, a scrubber and reuse them. Um, so basically, let's see, what does it say here? A hundred times, cleanable a hundred times. Um, and, and you know when your flow begins to be impeded, uh, when it's dripping less. Last night I could hear the steady rate of flow. So when you notice that begins to slow down, it's not dripping as fast, you get your brush out, soft, uh, uh, plastic brush or whatever, scrubby pad, and you scrub the outside down. It's impregnated with silver, so nothing's going to grow in there.